it's a wild out there question, but what what year? How far away are we from a uh, AI system being a collaborator on a proof that wins the Fields Medal? <laughs> so that level. Okay. Um, well, it depends on the level of collaboration. I mean, no, like it deserves to be to right. get the Fields Medal. Like so, okay. half and half. Already, like I, I can imagine a Fields Medal winning paper having some AI systems in writing it, you know, uh, just, you know, like the old complete alone is already, I, I, I use it, like it speeds up my, my own writing. Um, um, like, you know, you, you, you can have a theorem and you have a proof and the proof has three cases and I, I write down the proof of the first case and the autocomplete just suggests, oh, now, now here's how the proof of the second case could work. And like, it was exactly correct. And that was great. Saved me like five, 10 minutes of, uh, of, of typing. But in that case, the AI system doesn't get the fields model. No. Uh, <laughs> Are we talking twenty years, fifty years, a hundred years? What do you think? Okay, uh, so I, I gave a prediction in print, but so by twenty twenty six, which is now next year, um, th there will be math collaborations you know, where the AI, so not fields medal winning, but but like actual research level math like, papers. like published ideas that yeah, are in um, part generated by AI. Um, maybe not the ideas, but at least uh, some of the computations. Um, um, the verifications. Yeah, I mean, there, there has are, that already happened? Has it already happened? Yeah, there, there are there are problems that were solved uh, by a complicated process, converse, conversing with, with AI to propose things, and then the human goes and tries it, and it, and the contract doesn't work. Uh, but the, the, if I propose a different idea, um, it, it's it's hard to disentangle exactly. Um, there are certainly math results which could only have been accomplished because there was a math a method, a human mathematician and an AI involved. Um, but uh, it's hard to sort of disentangle credit. Um, I mean, these tools, they, they do not uh, replicate all the skills needed to do mathematics, but they can replicate sort of some non-trivial percentage of them, you know, mm -hmm. 30, 40%. So they can fill in gaps. Um, you know, so uh, coding is, 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 a, is a good example. You know, so I, I um, um, it's annoying for me to, to code in Python. I'm not, I'm not a native um, I'm not a professional um, programmer, um, but um, the, with AI, the, the the friction cost of, of doing it is is, is much reduced. Uh, so it, it fills in that gap for me. Um, it, AI is getting quite good at literature review. Um, I mean, there's still a problem with um, hallucinating, you know, the references that don't exist. Um, but this, I think, is a civil war problem. Uh, if you train in the right way and so forth, you can you can and um, and verify. Um, you know, using the internet, um, you, you know, you, um, you should in a few years get to the point where you you have a a lemma that you need and uh, say, has anyone proven this lemma before? And it, it will do basically a fancy web search AI system. And say, yeah, yeah, there are these six papers where something similar has happened. Uh, and I mean, it'll, you can ask it right now, and it will give you six papers of which maybe one is, is legitimate and relevant. One exists but is not relevant, and four are hallucinated. Um, it has a non-zero success rate. Right now, but uh, it's there's so much garbage, uh, so much the signal to noise ratio is so poor that it's it's um, it's most helpful when you already somewhat know the literature, um, and you just need to be prompted to be reminded of a paper that was already subconsciously in your memory, or it's just helping you discover new you were not even aware of, but is the correct citation. Yeah, that's yeah that it can sometimes do but but when it does it's it's buried in in a list of options for which the other that are bad yeah i mean it, being able to automatically generate a r related work section that is correct yeah that's actually a beautiful thing that might be another face shift because it assigns credit correctly yeah it yeah. does it breaks you out of the silos of yeah 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 no thought, I mean, you know yeah no but it, it, there's a big hump to overcome right now i mean it, it's it's like self driving cars Right. You know, the safety margin has to be really high yeah. for it to be um, uh, to be feasible. So yeah, so there's a last mile problem um, with a lot of AI applications um, that uh, you know they can develop tools that work twenty percent, eighty percent of the time, but it's still not good enough. Um, and in fact, even worse than good in some ways. I mean, another way of asking the Fields Medal question is, what year do you think? You wake up and be like real surprised. You read the headline, the news of something happened that AI did, like you know, real breakthrough, something. It doesn't, you know, like feels metal, it even hypothesis. It could be like really just this alpha zero moment would go, that right, kind of thing. Right. Um 
yeah, this uh, this decade, I can I can see it like making a conjecture between two unrelated two two things that people thought was unrelated. Oh, interesting! Generating a conjecture that's a beautiful conjecture. Yeah, and and actually has a real chance of being correct and and, and meaningful. And um, because that's actually kind of doable, I suppose. But the, where the data is, it's, yeah, yeah, no, that would be well, truly amazing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> The current models struggle a lot. I mean, so um, a version of this is, um, I mean, the, the physicists have a dream of getting the AIs to discover new, new laws of physics. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a, the, the dream is you just feed it all this data, okay? Uh, uh, and and it's just a, here, here's a new pattern that we didn't see before. But it actually even struggles, the current state of the art even struggles to discover old laws of physics um, from the data. I mean, uh, or if it does, uh, there's a big concern of contamination that, that it did it only because it's like somewhere in this training data, it already somehow knew um, you know, Boyle's law, or whatever law you're trying to, to, to reconstruct. Um, part of it is that we don't have the right type of training data for this. Um, yeah, so for laws of physics, like we, we don't have like a million different universes with a million different laws of nature. <laughs> um, and um, like a lot of what we're missing in math is actually the negative space of, so we have published things of things that people have been able to prove um, and conjectures that ended up being verified. Um, or maybe counterexamples produced, but um, we don't have data on on things that were proposed, and they're kind of a good thing to try. But then people quickly realize that it was the wrong conjecture, and then they they, they said, "Oh, but we uh, we should actually change um, our claim to modify it in, in this way to actually make it more plausible." Um, there's this, there's a trial and error process, which is a real integral part of human mathematical discovery, which we don't record because it's, it's embarrassing. Uh, we make mistakes, and and we only like to publish our, our wins. Um, and uh, the AI has no access to this data to tra train on. Um, I sometimes joke that basically we have to get the AI has to go through um, a, a grad school and actually, you know, go to grad courses, do the assignments, go to office hours, make mistakes, um, get advice on how to correct the mistakes, and learn from that.